Hey everybody, welcome back to My Wings of Refuge. I am excited today, y'all. It has been an exciting week. I started off with lots of baby bunnies, but not only lots of bunnies, we actually had 33 baby bunnies born this week here on the homestead. And out of those 33, two of them are going to be Blue New Zealand's, and I am so excited about that. Other than that, today we are going to be making a bug repellent. If you are like me, I hate being bit by mosquitoes. Now, I've used a lot of essential oils and different things, and a lot of things work, but essential oils can be expensive and as the world changes, it might be something that we're looking for that we can grow on our own land. And you might just have this growing on your land right now. It's the American Beautyberry bush. I have this bush and every single year I trim it back hard and it grows and it grows and it's stunningly beautiful. This here is my prized American Beautyberry bush. I love this bush because it has so much beauty in the springtime where you see these purple berries. In the spring you will see little tiny pink flowers. Then in the fall those pink flowers turn into these beautiful purple berries. Now next week, we will talk a little bit more about those purple berries, but this week we're going to talk about the leaves of this bush. Those leaves are great for bug repellent. This is a great time of year to harvest leaves from the beautyberry bush. Because you don't have to worry about leaving it too naked. So I promise this is going to be really easy. We're going to take our leaves that we're going to use and we're going to literally put them in our smoothie cup. Depending on the amount you want to make, you can make as much or as little as you want. I did give them a quick rinse because when the water hits them, sometimes you have spiders tend to just kind of run out on you. You can use several different things here. You can use rubbing alcohol, but it's a little strong smelling, but it will dissipate and leave the nice uh, oils left behind on you. Or you can also use uh, vodka. I like to use vodka sometimes for like cleaning products. It's a good sterilizer. I actually decided to go with vodka on this one. You'll want to shake this often while it sits, just to keep it moving and breaking down. So after it has set long enough, preferably overnight, but at least several hours, and you've given it a good shake off and on, then we want to add the oil. I am going to add coconut oil. No real measurement here, but you want to add a good amount. Let's give this a try. We're going to put it in our blender. And we want to blend it for about three minutes. You want it to start feeling it getting a little bit warm. So now we're ready to pour our mixture into our bowl. I'm putting it through a strainer. Let's 
Okay, so we have our thick sludgy part here that we will discard. So you can really stop right here if you wanted to. You could put this liquid in a jar, maybe even with a hand pump like a soap container, uh, and you could literally squirt it out and rub it on you whenever you needed it. If it's a little bit oilier for you, and you would rather have something in a little bit more of a salve type, we can take this one step further. So we're going to add one ounce of beeswax per cup of our oil here. So I have two cups of oil, so I'm going to use two ounces of beeswax, which is about a half of a cup, but I did measure the weight. So now, we're going to set up a double broiler. And I'm literally going to set this directly inside the pan of water. Okay, so my heat is on medium, and I don't want to cook our oil here, but I do want it to get warm enough to melt our beeswax. But I'm gonna go ahead and add in the beeswax now. And then we'll just keep stirring until they're completely melted. And just like that, all the beeswax is melted. I'm turning off the heat, so be very careful. And pour it right into our little jars. Here we are, we've got it in our jars and the only thing we have to do now is let it sit and cool and put a lid on it and they will be ready to go. So anytime I have the option for something natural, something I can grow on my own, something I can make on my own, that is always my choice uh, and my preference. So today's bug repellent is exciting to me. So I hope if you have a beauty berry bush at your house now you can use those leaves for something very medicinal that you will be so excited about because those daytime biting tiger mosquitoes are evil they are huge they hurt when they bite and they leave you itchy and uh so but that itchy part don't forget our plantain cream that we have made in the past works excellent for that but if you can prevent the bite is also the way to go. So I hope you enjoyed today's video, y'all. And if you have a purple beauty berry bush, I hope you get out there and harvest some of those leaves. Stay tuned next week because we're gonna talk about those berries on the beauty berry bush. So stay tuned, y'all have a fantastic week and I'm about to go check on my little baby bunnies.